So Anthony just dropped us off at the hotel right here in uh, downtown Ottawa and he's running off to go pick up some of the uh, college coaches who are also staying down here for the uh, for the combine. We have like two hours to kill because it's two o'clock and Anthony's going to be back here around four to pick us up and do the like inaugural introduction meeting with the uh, with all the uh, players that are coming to the combine and the coaches and everything which is at like four or five o'clock. So I think Mimi and I are gonna go get some food and just kind of chill, lay low. It's been a very crazy last 48 hours of traveling from Europe to San Diego and then San Diego for like 24 hours and then going all the way here on like a full red eye flight. So a little exhausted, but now we're finally here for the next like three or four days. We're just stranded here at the North Pole. <laughs> Freezing temperatures, negative six degrees. Do you prepare your speech though? Huh? I, I know what I'm going to talk about, yeah. That doesn't mean you prepared. How does that not mean I prepared? You can know what you want to it's talk It's going to be good, don't worry. We'll have coaches around. We'll have myself, Marcus, Jeff, guys around with OPSM, FTF gear. Come up to us, let us know what your, what your story is and how we can help. And then, you know, good luck to you guys these next two days. All right guys, so next up we're just going to introduce one of my good friends. I had the great opportunity to play with him for a year. And uh, for me, it was a great experience. I learned a lot from him. I saw him covered it with the CDs. And so uh, he's pretty huge. Some of you guys may know him as Become Elite uh, or Matt Sheldon. I know him Shelly, so let's hear it for Matt. <laughs> So I've had some success, but like I've said, those were three combines out of the 12 or 13 that I've done throughout my career. So I've gone through nine or 10 combines where I've received zero interest. So I've gone, I've played the entire weekend and nothing. No calls back, no interest, no emails, nothing. And so, like I said, the stars do need to align. You go out here, it's a great opportunity. You're gonna be able to play in front of 20 great college coaches, but just realize that even though if this doesn't work out, or whatever, it's okay, just go to the next one. You know, keep on doing it, keep on going because just because you don't succeed at one combine doesn't mean that the next one's not gonna work out for you. So it's seven o'clock in the morning, we're headed out to get a good training session with a lot of other pros and, and college athletes at that little indoor place that we went to last year, which is like connected to uh, OPSM's office and everything. I'm really excited about it. It's been a while since I've trained with a, a good group of guys with a lot of pros, um, just because I've been in Europe, kind of like by myself for a while. So stoked, can't wait for it. <laughs> Real quick, I just want to introduce everybody here, give a little background on where these guys have played so that you can see the quality here in this session. So starting from the left, we have Nico Giansopoulos, Giansopoulos, who's a professional footballer for Calvary FC in the Canadian Premier League and has also played down in the NPL in Australia. We have Zoom, who plays in the Canadian Premier League as well for the Halifax Wanderers and also has experience playing over in Italy and Europe. Next, we got Hansley Felix, who has played for Ottawa Fury in the USL as well as DC United's U23s. Justin Earl, who is playing collegiately right now for Northern Kentucky University. Then we have Sanchez right here, who played collegiately for Humber and also played in Canada's League One, which sits just below the Canadian Premier League in the uh, in the pyramid. Next, there's me with FC Tulsa. And then we have Terrence Smith, who played for the Roughnecks in the USL back in 2018. And he also plays for the Barbados national team. Then we have Anthony Adur, who has played professionally over in Singapore, Israel, Thailand, and North America with FC Edmonton, and also was with the Tulsa Roughnecks next back in 2018 for a little bit and then finally just off screen is Jeff Adai who has played Regio now Liga over in Germany with Mannheim as well as with the Tulsa Roughnecks from 2018 to 2019 so in total six players with professional experience and two top college slash
slash semi pro players. So quality group of players here. Um, great session, as you'll see. So the first thing that we're gonna do, okay, in the technical session is, it's like 75% is to get yourself going. Okay, so basically you're gonna zip the pass in, you're gonna open up your body, uh, Anthony. So as you open up your body, you take your first touch across the body, just gonna open up, and he's gonna play Anthony. I mean, Anthony's gonna play Jeff, his detailed left way. So everything nice and quick, don't let me be the loudest person on the pitch. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, fight! Yeah, get the ball, move, go ahead. First day of the combine, <laughs> out here scouting, looking at players. I am coaching a little bit later, so I have my team, which I'm excited about, so I'm not just gonna be watching. I actually get to do a little bit of hands-on stuff. Um, but as always, it went super smooth. There's like 120 players here, like 20 coaches, all with their clipboard scouting. So it's going really well. Uh, it's really cool to see even just the improvement from last year to this year, how much better it is. So really excited for it. Gonna have all day today, pretty much, and then all day tomorrow, just playing games. And uh, that's pretty much the weekend.
Oh, this Timmy's is hot. Holy crap. Ooh, hello. Yeah, it's burning my hand. How's everything going? We're going really good. Uh, we have a lot of coaches out. We have over 20 coaches here, and uh, probably the best uh, from all around Canada here. Right now, right now, it is looking pretty good. I mean, we have over 100 kids who are here playing, and so it's been it's been a great event so far. Uh, the first day we kicked off on Friday. We had the seminar. Uh, obviously, we had Matt speaking at the seminar, which was really cool. A lot of the guys like to like it when you come, but for the most part, it's been really good. Yeah, and then also like you're playing too. You were at Tulsa last year. Yeah. So now you're just gonna you're in the off season grind, huh? Off like looking grind. for teams. It's kind of like what you talk about all the time when you tell you you know what, uh, off season you have to stay ready because you never know what's gonna happen. And so basically, I'm waiting. I'm in talk with a couple different different places. So we just have to wait. And you see, you never know until until it's written on paper, right? Yeah. So, all right, I'll let you go. I know you got a lot to do. Sounds good. We're good to see you. All right, so we just finished up the second day of the combine. It went really well. The quality, like I've said a lot about these combines, is like way better. From the top to the bottom player, it's way higher than other combines. But what did you think of it? How'd it go? I think it went really well this year. Obviously, we were there last year, and we kind of doubled the number. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of scared at first about that. We were like, will this drop the quality? But lucky enough, we thought we had way more better players, players from all over Ontario, then also players coming in from America. Mm -hmm. So it made the standard of the combine so much better than it's ever been. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought, this, especially in the second day, these some of the games here is like, yeah. it was good. Mimi even said on the sideline, she was like, oh, was, I don't remember high school players being this good. <laughs> yeah, it's like Because I was like, they're not, they're, they're, they're good. These are yeah. good players, these are the top high school players. So it was awesome. It was a really good experience. Everything went smoothly, right? Well, Mimi almost had an accident. <laughs> I don't know. Send me, I don't, that, send me that clip. I don't know if that, that clip is I there. need to rewatch it because yeah. I don't think he reached out his hand. Okay. I, did it. Yeah, I think he guy, backed away. <laughs> some guy crashed into Mimi and I just kind of like, like this. <laughs> Matt pushed her into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, all yeah. good. Coaches are happy. Players Coaches are happy. happy. I think we'll have a lot of people recruited from this combine this year and even for the younger kids for the next following season. So. Honestly, it was great. Amazing. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get something to eat, and uh, yeah, that's that's the it for the uh, 2019. Or this is the 2000, first combine. Yeah, this is it for the first this combine. 2020. This is it for the 2020. Yeah. January. Is this the combine's done? <laughs> <laughs> seven side game in the same dome as last time just the normal it's like a 60 minute game so I'm really excited for it just have to be smart as always whenever you play in these things but uh, but yeah I'm playing with uh, some of the OPSM guys and everything so. Sort of breath, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll see it, let's see it. Yeah, two for them, two for them. Get Godwin. <laughs> so that was pretty much it for the 2020 combine up in ottawa i'm actually in tulsa right now i filmed the full outro when i was up in ottawa but like an idiot i filmed it in slow motion so there was no audio or anything um but anyway basically just to sum up what i said in the uh the last outro clip is that i love going up there and i wouldn't waste my time going up there to ottawa to help out with the combine to spend my own time and energy to fly a red eye across the country with two other connecting flights to get into ottawa to fly all the way back to portland and spend that time and energy doing that if i really didn't believe in opsm what they're doing to help these kids go and get college um, scholarships to help you know the the agency build up the agency and just really believe in what those guys are doing because uh you know, I met Jeff back in 2018. I've met Anthony last year when I was here at Tulsa. I met Godwin back in 2019. So um, it's just it's just been very, very good. I'm very always very happy, and I love being around guys that um, are very ambitious like that. Like to put on that combine and to do everything that they're doing uh, is amazing, and it's just getting better and better every year. And it's very motivating for me to see how far they've taken their business and how far that they've come and how, how they're still doing it with the right intentions of helping athletes and helping kids uh, further their career in soccer. So just overall, it's always a very, very great experience helping out there, being with those guys, and also meeting a lot of you guys that, uh, that are up there. I, I, I meet tons of you guys that watch my uh, videos up at, whenever I'm helping out the combine. And it's very rewarding to see that firsthand that, um, that you guys are benefiting from the channel, which is awesome. So if I met you up there, it was great to meet all you guys. Uh, hopefully I'll be there again next year for 2021 and then just keep on uh, keep on doing it. So anyway, OPSM Combine 2020 went great. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.